Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy, your very own goiter guru at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. So today we're going to talk about myths of thyroid goiters. I hear so many of them and why people have not had surgery. So let's talk about that. The first one, castor oil or turmeric can shrink my goiter or prevent it? Are you kidding me? No. You guys can rub it on all that you want. Nothing's happening. Um, so that is a myth. Please do not do that. You're just wasting time. Your goiter is going to grow. Second myth. If I eat tons of seafood, lobster, sushi, that's going to prevent my goiter. No. You can eat as much as you want. You can eat it every single night or you can have organic juices every single night. Nothing's changing the size of your goiter. In America, we have enough iodine in our diet. It is true that low iodine can cause goiters in Africa, but assuming that we are in America, iodine is not an issue. So that is, that is a myth and is not true. Next myth, all goiters are benign. So that is not true. Um, while it is mostly, mostly all goiters are benign, you certainly can be hiding a thyroid cancer within these large nodules. Um, so just because you know, you've had benign biopsies, actually once a nodule is over four centimeters, you cannot trust the biopsy. It's like putting a needle to an apple, you're not getting good representation. So you very well could have a thyroid cancer, but don't worry, I'll cure it with the surgery. Next myth, all thyroid goiters are visible. Not true. So, goiters can grow two ways. One way that they can grow is it can grow out, and obviously those are visible. But the second way that it can grow is that it can grow back and down. So for those that grow back and down, those are the ones that are substernal, below your collarbone, into your chest. And so those are the ones where patients are like, how do I have a goiter? I don't see it. Um, and they, maybe they find it on other imaging, like a CAT scan, where it's growing down into your chest. So not all goiters are visible. Last myth, all goiters cause symptoms. Again, surprisingly, not true. Um, so what can happen is that you have this goiter for years, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years, and you just get so used to having this goiter that you're slowly developing symptoms, but you don't even notice it. Um, and then, you know, you see it on a scan or you let this grow to a ridiculous size and just because you haven't had symptoms you don't have surgery um, trust me once the goiter is out you're gonna feel relief you're gonna feel things are freer uh, when you when you're talking or breathing or swallowing um, so just because you don't have symptoms doesn't mean that you don't need surgery so if you have a thyroid goiter if you have thyroid nodules if you need thyroid surgery contact me at thyroidcancer.com and if you want to see more interesting videos then subscribe to my channel Thank you.